let's stay out west and we're going to talk about Vancouver FC because they're obviously, by virtue of them being an expansion team, the most curious club when we start to think about how the season might go. We're literally a month and a day away from the start of the Canadian Premier League's fifth season, and we're seeing all of these clubs go on their preseason camps, ditching the cold weather that's mostly across the country right now for Florida and Portland and other destinations where it's a little bit warmer. And of course, we know Atletico Ottawa and their trip to Madrid. But let's chat about what is going on with the expansion club. We have the roster board. It's still being finessed. It is still being put together. But as we go through some of these names and some of the exciting signings, I'll get Ollie to weigh in first on what you think about this roster. But like, look, you got, you know you're going to get some steadiness and goal with Callum Irving, what he was able to do um, with Pacific. Caden Chung comes back. Wouldn't surprise me if he's up for Defensive Player of the Year. You have some Liga MX talent in there, formerly some players on loan, like, Christian Maris and uh, Gael Sandoval, also Rocco Romeo, maybe a little bit of stability there. The two Simmons, Marcus and Elliot, they both showed they have some pretty good ceilings here. And then you think about as well the U Sports picks. Amir Kanani of the TMU Bold, obviously I'm going to have an interest in how he fares professionally, but he's been scoring goals in preseason as well. It, it's an interesting and exciting time for this club, Ollie. But w- when you look at this team in progress, what, what sticks out to you? Uh, I have no idea how good or bad this team is going to be. Like it's 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 really interesting. I think how they've constructed this roster and like there's some guys that you can point to. You mentioned them: Irving, Chung, Simmons, Bitar. Like they're going to be good players in in this league. You know that. And there's a decent kind of core there there to build around. But I think they've taken a load of gambles, like on on players from college, from League One, from all over the place. Quite frankly, who have come in, they've had open trials out there. I think and. I think it can go either way. Either you find some some absolute gems in, in the rough here who no one spotted before and, and they've built some of them up. Some of the guys that they've talked about that were in those open trials, you know, they've labeled this kids who no one has ever heard of before could be one of the best midfielders in Canada, could be one of the, the you know, the, there's been some pretty pretty big praise for some of these players and, and maybe they've found some, some diamonds here. Um, or it can look a bit like FC Edmonton where you have a group of players who are really willing, really, you know, desperate for their opportunity but just lacking a bit of that that quality ultimately to, to be competitive in the league. So um, I'm fascinated by this team. I think a really interesting coaching appointment. Clearly someone who's willing to embrace giving players a chance, even if they don't have that kind of proof of, uh, you know, the experience uh, in the corner level. Um, I think it's going to be a, a fascinating team to watch in these opening weeks of the season, which are not too far away now. Well, they made they made a couple's with any expansion team. There's going to be question marks. Like, course, we're, yeah. this is a manager that that that's that's never managed in 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 the Canadian Premier League uh, in this country before. There's quirks to it, especially travel and everything to do with this league, which makes it quintessentially Canadian. So, but everyone said that Gotby is like he's, he's an impressive guy. Everything's looked good. They made some statement signings. Add a check mark there. Sandoval, a player that's coming from Liga MX, and you know, like if if he brings some real quality in those attacking areas, like th- players like that are worth their weight in gold for in the Canadian Premier League. Uh, Kanan yeah. Jung, if he's not going to be the best right back in the league, he's going to be a top three right back in this league. That that's a statement signing as well. You have some stability in midfield with players like Simmons. Like it's an intriguing roster. I I, I look at Sean Hundle coming back. Um, and, and playing in the Canadian Premier League after being in USL. There's always been something about this kid. It's just never completely come together for him. But this is the chance. Like, this is what the Canadian Premier League provides, a chance for him to play regular football and see if he can find that consistency in terms of minutes and form and where it comes all together because a player like him and a lot of players on this team I look at just need that opportunity. There's some real talent there, but they need the outlet to go do, go out and do it. So, um, it's never easy with a new team coming together like this. Uh, Ottawa struggled. I mean, they, they came in during COVID. It was crazy times. But then they turned things around relatively quickly with a good manager and a good solid core of players as well. So I, I like what I've seen. But to predict how they're actually going to do, it's a little bit of a fool's game because we simply don't know. Yeah, and the matches come thick and fast from once the season starts. It's 28. It's like it's going to bond the team together, but it's also going to test the legs. Of the 20 players they've signed in their two draft picks, the average age on this team is 22.4. It's a young team. It's going to be a youthful team. It's going to be a fast team, but how that is able to it's sustain, be fun. it's going to be very fun. Not to mention, in Canada, we're getting a brand new soccer-specific stadium. stadium, which is fantastic and, mm. and good news all around. 
Uh, just a, a quick word. We mentioned K- Kaden Chung quite a bit, Ollie, but your thoughts on his return to the CPL, but also what Callum Irving might be able to provide. And I mean, this is a player with Golden Glove nominations under his belt. Yeah, I think you know what you'll get with Irving. I think he'll be one of the better goalkeepers in the league. League, a uh, good leader as well, which which is important. You need a few of those in in the team, more experienced players. As as far as Caden Chung's concerned, I'm just interested to see what that year at Toronto FC has has done for him. Right? Um, you know, I, I think the the floor is very high with Caden Chung. Like we all said, you know, you're going to get one of the better right backs in the league. But has being in that MLS environment, going up against Insigne in training a few times, I, I, I assume. Um, you know, has that taken his game to another level that we haven't necessarily seen in matches yet because he didn't get too much of a chance second half of the season with CFC. So is is there more progression in Caden Chung's game I think you're looking for? And, and and if so, he's going to be, you know, one of the better players in the CPO in any position, I think. Will, is there anything further to add? Well, I, I like their, I like the, the, I can't wait to see what their uniform looks like, to be honest. The training kit's impressed. nice, though. The training oh, yeah, kit was one. nice. <laughs> they're they're posting pictures from their friendly against uh, Timbers, too. And I think it's going to look sharp. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. So I like the other kit. I like the Valor kits that I've seen in the Halifax. So I just want to see what it all looks like when it comes together and, and what the, and what their supporters look like as well. Mm. They're going to be different from the people, from, from the fans on the Island with Pacific probably a little bit of a different crowd that, than those that go to white caps games as well. So they're going to be able to build whatever they want here. Um, and I'm really kind of excited just to see how it all comes together. Like One more thing. There's a rumor out there this morning. Um, I apologize. I can't remember the name of the reporter. I would say we'll have to, I'll have to look that up. There's a, there's a rumor this morning. Camilo Sanbezo is interested in uh, coming to back to Vancouver Camille? to play for Vancouver. Really? To play for Kevin Vancouver FC. Yeah. I th- I think if he's willing to, to come on like a lower salary, the Whitecaps should be interested in that. He's still a good player. Yeah. Um, but that would that would be some pickup to add to Sandoval. Well, what is he in his mid to lower th- 30? I've been I've he's been 30, out- he's 34, but he's got double digit goals last two league MX wow. seasons. So yeah, and, and, and th- these are the types of players that, that you fundamentally actually need. What did you say, Adam? What's the average age of this team? 22.4 and they have 20 permanent signings so far this season. Wow. Like it's, it, you know, I don't mind the experienced players as, as much as the Canadian premier league is a massive pathway towards opportunity and development. It's also a place where older players have come back and, and, and done the job in this league as well. And obviously there's natural ties to Vancouver. Um, and I think it would be an absolute coup and in, in statement, I mean, like, hey, over here, we're your new neighbors, Vancouver Whitecaps, and <laughs> go on and get Thanks. one of your former players. I, I I love the whole idea. I, I love the potential thought process behind it. So uh, this is the first I've heard of it. Fingers crossed. Something like that would certainly make some headlines, wouldn't it? And certainly getting a Cap Centurion in, and it also shows the clout that Ashin Gopi has and the respect he has in a lot of these circles. It's It, it just reinforces how important of a, a signing and how important it is to get your first coach right in this league, especially as already established. Ollie, by the way, Tyler Green with the Tyler the Green, thank you, Adam. 